There was a Savior born, and they called his name Jesus. And the meaning of the name of Jesus is Jehovah saves. God wants you to be saved. It's you that don't want to be saved. It is you that is rebelling against God and what God says. In the Bible, the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. What is preventing you from believing on Jesus? It's not God. It's you. You won't believe in Jesus. The Bible says God is not willing that any should perish. Meaning that God does not want you to go to hell. And yet you will go to hell by rejecting God. God has done everything for you to be saved. God left his heavenly throne and was born in a manger, became man, 100% God, 100% man, the man Christ Jesus. He lived 33 and a half years. He was sinless. He was the perfect man. Holy and full of righteousness. And there was no fault found in him. No guilt. In the Lord Jesus Christ. And yet he was condemned. And he was beaten. And he was killed. Crucified upon Calvary's cross. Not for his sins. But for our sins. Your sins. And my sins. By the sinless one by the Holy One, by God. That, that Jesus' blood, who is God's blood, Acts 20, 28, was shed for man in his sins. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, was crucified upon Calvary's cross for us. God laid his life down for us. And they took the dead body and they buried it. As you would with any dead body. And three days and three nights later, Jesus Christ arose, resurrected out of the grave. All according to the scriptures. Everything for salvation for you to go to heaven has been done and is finished by Jesus Christ and God. It's complete. It's settled. And for you to get to heaven, the Bible says you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. God is not asking you to do anything to be saved. God is not asking you to go anywhere to be saved. God is telling you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ alone to be saved. He didn't say join the church. He didn't say get baptized. He didn't say give money. He said to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's what's stopping you to get to heaven. 
when you won't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, when you outright reject what God has said, you can't come to a religion. Religion can't save you. No religion on this earth has the assurance that you can get the assurance in Jesus Christ. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. Catholics have no, I know. They have a, I hope so. Islam has no, I know. But they have, I believe so. Atheism, I don't know. The Bible, these things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life is in Jesus Christ. And that eternal life will belong to you if you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. It's not in attendance. It's not in membership. It's not in water. It's not in saints. It's in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. To be saved. God is offering you salvation. God is offering you heaven. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Well, preacher, I don't believe in God. Preacher, I don't know if there is a God. Preacher, I'm a Baptist. Preacher, I'm a Catholic. Will you say, Preacher, I will call upon Jesus Christ. Preacher, I will put my faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus said of himself, Jesus speaking of himself, this is not the preacher. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says he is the way to the Father, there is no other way. The definite article, the, means that's it. And when Jesus died on Calvary's cross, he said, it is finished. Any other way of salvation is an artificial preservative that God does not approve of. You need the blood and the finished work of Jesus Christ to be saved. You need the gospel of Jesus Christ for God's approval. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the means of going to heaven. That is the means of salvation. And without the finished work of Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. And you will spend all eternity in hell because you said, I won't trust in Jesus. Sorry, Jesus, I got something better than you. Sorry, Jesus, I got someone better than you. Sorry, Jesus, I don't believe in you. Sorry, Jesus, my church is better than you. Sorry, Jesus, my baptism is better than you. I'm sorry, Jesus, Allah is better than you. I'll go to the back door, Jesus, with your mother. And yet the Bible says 
There is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. God never said Mary. God never said Allah. God never said a church. God said only Jesus saves. And without Jesus Christ, your eternal life will be hell. You don't go to hell because of adultery. You don't go to hell because of alcohol. You go to hell because you rejected Jesus Christ. You said, I have something better than Jesus. And that something that's better than Jesus in your thoughts and in your ideas is not God approved. There are plenty of people in hell that were baptized. But there are nobody in hell that believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. There are plenty of people in hell that went to church. And yet nobody that called upon the, the name and the finished work of Jesus will be found in hell. Religion has its spot and its place in hell. But Christians who have put their finished faith upon Jesus go to heaven. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved will get you out of hell. The only payment that God will receive is his blood, and his blood was shed upon Calvary's cross by Jesus Christ. God does not take cash, check, or credit cards to enter to heaven. He takes the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ without spot. You need the blood and the finished work of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And you are the sinner, I am the sinner, for the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. In order to fix that shortness that you come to God, that gap, that gap is the finished work of Jesus Christ upon Calvary's cross. And that three days and three nights later, he came out of that tomb according to the scriptures. It is all in the finished work of Jesus. It's all about Jesus. There is no other name but Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and confess that Jesus is the Lord. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is not Mary. That name is not Allah. That name is not a denomination. That name is above all names. The name that means Jehovah saves. The name that saves is the name of Jesus Christ. And the old familiar expression is to churn or burn. There is no hope in the Pope, only Jesus saves. A man who is also God suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus said to the Christians, go into the world and preach the gospel. I just told you what the gospel is. 
I don't want you to go to church. I want you to believe on Jesus Christ. I don't want your money. I want you to put your faith and trust in Jesus. You don't need to be baptized until you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is in God. Salvation is in a man. And that God man is in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. There is no other way to get to God except through Jesus Christ alone.